Hi, and welcome to today's Daily Light. Today I want to tell you a story of something that happened to me a couple of years ago. And to preface the story, I want to tell you that growing up, what I really wanted to do was work for Diddy. And that's what I would tell everyone. But it wasn't that I wanted to work for Diddy. I wanted to work for a label. I loved the music industry. I loved like the whole phase of an album promotion. And that's what I wanted to be a part of. And out of college, I got a job working for a small agency and we would be hired by the major labels to promote albums like if their team was just overwhelmed with so many releases they would hire us and we would just take over for them now there was one major label that hired me to work an album for one of their major artists and they loved the job i did for them and about two weeks after that I got a call from the vice president of marketing for that label and he's like Audrey I want to meet with you do me a favor don't tell your boss though and let me tell you something about the job I was at during that time I hated it I didn't want to be there I didn't feel appreciated I'm sure you understand that was the job that Sunday nights I would just have a pit in my stomach because I didn't want to go back on Monday so when this person called me I'm like this is it he's gonna hire me I'm gonna work at this label this is my dream job like on my vision board that's what I wanted and I go in and the interview it turned out to be an interview it went amazing he's like I'm so impressed by you I love what you did on that campaign I want to hire you right away I want to give you two assistants I want you to run this thing for me and he's even looking at my phone he's like now does your company pay for that because I could get that on the budget for you and expense your phone everything so are you in I'm like of course I'm in and he's like okay all I need is to review the budget with my boss and I'll let you know in a couple of days. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I went home ecstatic, thanking God, because that's exactly what I always wanted. Like, you know, when there's like this dream that you have and you're never even sure if it's going to happen, but then there it is and you're just over the moon. That's how I felt. Now, fast forward a couple of days, he calls me and he tells me, Audrey, I'm really sorry to tell you this but our entire department has been slashed. There have been major um, cutbacks on the label and we have to cut back on everything. So even if I would have brought you in, you would have been fired. And I was devastated, completely devastated. And I remember it like it was yesterday. It was one of those hot summer days where you get the thunderstorms at the end of the day and there I am on walking from the train back to my car. It was pouring and I didn't care. I didn't have an umbrella. I was just crying right along. Like I, I didn't know if it was tears or rain streaming down my face. I was just devastated. And I had this temptation to say to God, why would you do this to me? You knew how badly I always wanted this. And then you just shine it in front of my face and then take it away from me. But I was so quick to dismiss that thought and just totally block it out. Because instead, let me tell you where my mindset was. My mindset was in Isaiah 55, verses 8 and 9, where the Lord says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are above the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. And I held on to that like I've never held on to anything in my life. And I got home that day, and again, battling this temptation to just be angry, just be hurt. I got down on my knees, and I praised God, and I thanked him, because I knew, as his daughter, that he saved me from something. I would have been cut, like everyone else in that de department was, or something worse could have happened to me at that label. But I know for a fact that no matter what, God saved me from something on that day. And when you face the temptation in your life to be angry, when you don't get what you want, when things don't turn out the way you want them to, as much as it hurts, because I'm not saying it was easy for me to do that day at all, at all. I was, I was praising him through tears. But if you keep your attitude positive and you keep your mindset and that the Lord is looking out for you as his son, as his daughter, He's going to give you what is good for you. You have to remain in that faith no matter how hard it is to do. Know that he's got you. That whatever his plans for you are, are so much better than whatever you can envision for yourself. Trust that. Believe that. And live in faith.
Have a blessed day.